Welcome to Solid Camp Professor. I'm Sydney, your Solid Camp Professor, and in this session we'll be demonstrating how to convert a 3D operation for a 5-axis machine. If we take a look at this part on the screen, we'd like to machine these walls over here, but in order to do this in HSM, we would have to use a long end mill to get to the very bottom of these walls itself. We'll do this operation and we'll use HSM for this. I'll be using the operation of constant Z machining and the tool that I will be using will be a 12 millimeter ball and mill and it should be noted that for the conversion process we must use a ball and mill. We'll take a look at the tool itself and you'll see that we're actually out of the holder by 100 millimeters. Our constraint boundaries in this particular case will be this area on top over here to work only within this area. In my passes area, we'll be going down every two millimeters and my links, I'll be going bi-directional, going back and forth on the surface itself. Let's do save and calculate and then we'll take a look at the operation itself. If we take a look at our simulation, you'll see that the tool will be going down, working on the wall, but since it has to get to the very bottom, we must use this long end mill in order to reach every single part on the wall itself. What I'd like to do now is to actually convert the tool path that I've used in HSM for a five axis machine. To do this, I'll start a new operation within simultaneous five axis, and we have now the option called conversion. By using conversion, this will allow me to take that HSM operation and convert it into a five axis operation. The first thing we must do is that in our source operation, we choose which operation we're actually changing over into a five axis operation. And I'll choose the one as shown over here. As we continue down, you'll note that we have a conversion link type. I can use the exact same links that were done in the previous HSM by leaving it on use source links, or I create new links by using the five axis operation links. In this particular demonstration, I'll be using the source links. The tool that I will be using in this particular case will be the exact same type of tool that I used last time. However, I'll be using a tool that is now sticking out only 60 millimeters. In other words, it's actually going to be a lot shorter than the tool I used the last time. The levels, we have the exact same level control as we have in our regular five axis machines. And if we go into our link area, you'll note that all of our links have been disabled. That's because in our source operation, we're using the use sources links. In our tool axis control, we'll be using the option of tilt through curves. By tilting through the curves, I can actually have the tool hit the surface while it goes through that curve itself. I'll simply choose that particular curve over there, go all the way around, and the tool actually be going through that curve onto the surface itself. We'll do save and calculate. If we take a look at our simulation, you'll note that the tool now is hitting the surface at a tilt using the five axis options of the machine itself, thereby allowing us to use a shorter end mill to do this part. And as you can see, it's going all the way down, further and further, using the five axis option, tilting exactly through that curve that I had created before, hitting all of those surfaces, and allowing me to use a shorter end mill. Now if we take a look at our CAM manager, you'll note that my HSM operation now has been suppressed because now this has taken over for that operation. Thank you for joining us on SolidCAM Professor. 
Take care and have a nice day.